okay this video is going over the mean median mode and range okay so our goal today is that i can find the mean median mode and range of a set of data we have some key vocabulary um, that we'll go through during the lesson okay so to start with the warm-up if you already did this in class you can skip it otherwise you can do it with me if you were absent um here is data that shows the numbers of siblings of 10 students in Tyler's class represent, represent the data shown with the dot plot. So each value represents a dot. So we have one, two, three ones. So I'm going to put three dots above the one. I have one, two, three zeros. So three dots here. I have one, two, twos. And then I have one seven and one ten. And make sure you're doing this on your paper. Okay, so this is a dot plot. You make sure each dot represents a value in your data. Okay, and I'm going to count how many dots I have because I should have ten. So if I don't have ten, I mess up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten values. So that, that's going to be important. The first value I want to find is the median. So the median right on your paper is the middle number. So the median is the middle number um, once you arrange the data from smallest to biggest. So I'm gonna just list my data from smallest to biggest and the dot plot kind of helps with that. So I have three zeros, I have three ones, I have two twos, I have one seven and one ten. So it's arranged from smallest to biggest. So now I can find the middle, the middle number. Median, think middle of a highway, okay? So some people like to do it, like crossing off one at a time um, until they get to the middle number. There's lots of ways to do that. Okay, in this case, there's two numbers in the middle. It's between one and one. So one way to do that is to add them up and then divide them by two. One plus one is two, and two divided by two is one. So my median is one. If they're both between the same number, then it's just that number, okay? Um, but sometimes it may be a decimal as the middle number because it's between 7 and 8, for example. Then it would be 7.5 and so on. So the median for this one, I'm going to write it is um, 1. Okay? Next one is the mean. So the mean, make sure you write this on your paper. The mean is the average. So the mean is add all data points and divide by the number of data points. Okay. So you add them all up and divide it by how many there are. So each one of these represents a number. We're adding 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 7 plus 10. So add them all up. So I'm going to just do this right now. So I have 0, 3, 2, 4, 7, and 10. So I'm going to add them up. I know 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 7 is 14. And 14 plus 10 is 24. So my mean is going to be 24 divided by 10 because there's 10 numbers. So I added up all the values, add up all the data points, and then you divide it by how many numbers there are. And there is 10 numbers, so I'm dividing it by 10. When we divide by 10, it's nice and easy because you just move the decimal to the left one time. So it's 2.4 would be my mean or my average. Okay, so I'm gonna write this over here just to make sure we have it. So the mean is 2.4, the median is one so far. Okay. The mode, the mode, M-O for mode, is the most often number. So the most often number. What number do we see the most often? And in this case, the dot plot can help us. So I see 0 and 3 most, sorry, 0 and 1 most often, the values on top aren't the numbers. So 0 and 1 most often, so those are my modes. So, and you can have more than one, you can have one, or you can have no mode if none of them repeat. So the mode for this one, I'm gonna say is zero and 
one. So we have two modes in this case. The last one is the range. So the range is the biggest, biggest data value minus the smallest data value. Okay, so our biggest data value is 10 and our smallest data value is zero. So you just do 10 minus zero, which gives us a range of 10. So the range tells us how far apart are they spread. So I'm gonna say the range is 10. Um, keep in mind, it's not always the biggest number on your number line. Make sure there's a dot on your number line. So it's your biggest data point minus your smallest data point, not just on a number line necessarily. Okay, next one, which number average represents the data the best? So which one represents the data the best? It depends on the data. So in this specific data, we have most of the data are around this area, okay? It's between zero, one, and two. So I would say, um, I would say it's somewhere around one. So in this case, I would say the median is the best way to show because the median is the middle number. It's showing the center really well. The mean is usually also showing the center really well. But since we have these two numbers, these two numbers are much bigger than the rest of our data, and these are called outliers. And outliers can affect our average. So since we have an, some outliers, our average is a little bit bigger than most of the data. So I'm gonna say the median. The median because it shows the center. It shows the center without outliers, without outliers, okay? So that's the warm up. If you've already done that, obviously, you could have skipped that part. Make sure we are doing the rest, starting with activity two, one now. Okay, so activity one, finding the middle. Here is the dot plot showing the travel time in minutes of Elena's bus rides to school. So we're finding the median, mean, range, and mode. So we're starting with the median. Remember, the median is the middle, the middle number. So what I'm gonna do is, since my dot plot is already arranged from smallest to biggest, I'm gonna just cross out each dot until I get the middle dot. That's one way to do it. You can also list these numbers um, out as a list. Actually, I'll, I'll do both of them. So I'm listing the numbers. I have two sixes, I have one seven, I have three eights, I have three nines, I have two tens, and one twelve. So my middle numbers, so I'm gonna cross them out one at a time until I find my middle. Okay, and this time my middle number is between eight and nine. So you can add them up, eight plus nine divided by two, and eight plus nine divided by two would give me 8.5. And if you know that without doing that, that's great too. So I'm gonna say my median is 8.5 miles. So that's the middle number. The median describes the, and I'm gonna say the center. So make sure you write this in. Describes the center of the data. It shows right in the middle. The median describes the center of the data. Okay. Um, the next one is the mean. Remember the mean is the average. The mean is the average. It's when we add up all the values and divide it by how many there are. So first I'm gonna just count how many dots there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I know there's 12 values, so I'm gonna add them all, and then I'm gonna divide it by 12, okay? And when you are doing the mean, you are welcome to use a calculator, so that's just fine. Um, so I'm gonna add up the values. Six plus six plus seven plus eight plus eight plus eight plus nine plus nine plus nine plus 10 plus 10, plus 12, and I get 102. So I add them all up and I got 102, and then I divide it by 12, since there's 12 numbers. And I divide it by 12, I also get 8.5. How fun is that? So it's the same as the median. This is not always the case, but sometimes it is. So 8.5 is the mean. The mean describes the center of the data as well, because the average shows the center, where is most, most of the numbers. Since we don't have any outliers, really, 12 is maybe a little bit of an outlier, but we don't really have outliers, then it's showing, oh, most of the data is around here, right? And that looks like it's right. OK, 
Okay, the next one is the range. Remember, the range is the biggest data value minus the smallest data value. Okay, notice I'm not including the four or 13 because those aren't on, we don't have any data there. So I'm gonna do 12 minus six. 12 minus six, which gives us a range of six. So six is my range, okay? That's how spread out our data is, okay? So the range describes the spread of the data. So how far apart is the data spread out? Six units, okay? From the smallest to the biggest, it's six units apart. Okay, the mode. The mode one's nice and easy. The mode is the most often, most often, mode, M-O, most often. So I look, I see on my dot plot, these two are the most often. They, they both have three, so they're tied. So I'd say the mode is eight and nine. So both of these are the mode, okay? Um, the mode describes the frequency of the data. So frequency is how often something occurs. So in other, in other words, eight and nine are the most frequent. Those are the numbers we see the most. Okay, so make sure you showed your work. Moving on to activity number two. Okay, notice activity number two looks like yesterday. Or no, sorry. Um, you're gonna use this activity for the next class period. So just keep that in mind. So we're gonna practice this. We have not that many numbers, so it'll be nice and easy. So we're finding the mean, the average first, okay? So the, remember the mean, we add up all the values, and then we divide it by how many numbers there are. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I add them up. When I add them up, I should get 35. Okay, so I add them all up, 35, and then I divide it by seven, because there's seven data values. So 35 divided by seven is five. So my mean average is five. Okay, and that's describing the center of the data. The median is also describing the center. Remember this median is the middle number, okay? So obviously this isn't part of it now. So I'm gonna cross them out one at a time until I find the center. One, two, three. And my middle number in this case is just one number. So I circle it and that's my middle number, six. Okay. My mode, my mode is um, the, sorry, the most often, the number I see most often. Okay, and I notice one doesn't repeat, three doesn't repeat, four doesn't repeat, six does repeat, seven doesn't, and eight doesn't. So six is my mode. It's the one I see most often. It's the most frequent, in other words, the most frequent. Okay, the range is my biggest number minus my smallest number. So my biggest number minus my smallest number. So I do eight minus one, and eight minus one is seven, so my range is seven. So the range, remember, is describing the spread, how spread out is the data. So it's seven units apart, okay? Now on your own, you're gonna do the cool down and then raise your hand for your teacher to check your answers to see if you're doing it right. Thanks for watching.